All right, guys, so we're getting to the steps or to the part of the course where we're gonna start setting up our store. But first, before we go through the hands-on walkthrough, I want to share with you setup store checklist. And this is a very valuable resource when you're setting up everything to make sure that you do not forget any important steps. I will quickly go through it and then you can just download it and look at it yourself. So obviously you're gonna, in the very beginning, you choose your Shopify plan, which we covered in a previous video. And you're gonna wanna choose your Shopify domain name uh, and we're gonna choose a domain for our store and then what you want to do after that is set up your payments we'll talk about that merchants in, in that video coming up as well connect your bank account use default settings for a customer billing statement all of this add a credit card theme get a favicon add some apps set your shipping rates taxes currencies addresses and phone numbers custom domain email setup port inbox, phone number. Yeah, like just take a look through all this navigation, adding products. So take a look at this. It's a really good resource to make sure that you're, you don't miss anything when you get your store shut up. That's all I wanted to sh share with you here. Go ahead, view it, read it, and uh, we're gonna go through the actual hands-on here shortly. What's up guys? So today in this video, we are actually going through the process of setting up a brand new store. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna walk you through. You can follow along now. So we're at the Shopify pricing page and we're gonna choose our plan, but we don't even have to choose a plan because it says 14 day trial, no credit card required. So we're gonna start with that one right there. What? Let me think what email I wanna use. To use a password store name. Let's call this printed pleasures. Printed pleasures, is it available? Sounds good, looks like it's available. So nate at wcfulfillment.com, a password I just created, printed pleasures. Let's create this store. Shopify is pretty sweet. It'll do it a couple minutes. Looks like you're already finished, so we don't even have to do that. Okay, so choose one of your store. I'm not selling products yet, or I'm selling just not online. I sell on different, I'm playing around. Okay, I'm playing around. Uh, and then, what is your current revenue? Well, whatever, just just choose 500, 5,000 to 50,000, because you wanna set the goal that you're gonna actually do You know, a decent amount of numbers. Just choose this. You can do this or this, one of, one of these two. Unless you know you're gonna do big numbers, then then definitely go up to. I get this is per year, so maybe maybe this is better. So fifty thousand and two. Are you setting up for store for client? No. Okay, so uh, we are doing here my address for. All right, so let's see if it does it without my phone number. Okay, so no. All right. All right, so we are in the store. It says select the plan. So now what I recommend you doing right away, just go ahead and select the plan, put your credit card in. You will not be charged for 14 days, but I'm gonna choose this plan. So you can see here, bill me once a month for $29. Choose this one. You could prepay for the whole year if you really want to. All right guys, so we're back and uh, I literally just finished typing the card. It says, okay, successful, it sent me back to this page. So this is what you're gonna see. So now we get to go start playing with some of these features. So the first thing you're gonna do is you can click on view you actual, your Shopify store. So printedpleasures.myshopify.com. So now if you go to this and you're logged in, this is what you're gonna see, okay? And when you're not logged in, let me show you that. Let's see if I can do one more. If you're not logged in, it's gonna show you this. Oh, I'm still logged in, because I guess Incognito Windows uh, talk to each other. It should not be, but whatever. So I'll, let me show you this. So if I go to Chrome, and I go to Printed Pleasures, or, or Safari, and I go to Printed Pleasures, it says it's coming soon, right? So this is like the biggest mistake that you can make, and you don't wanna make this. Make sure you take the password off of your Shopify store. You can set up the entire store and not even realize what you wanna do is you want to get in here and we're gonna go find where where to go set that all up. So we go to settings and we're gonna go through all these settings one by one and I'm gonna walk you through what you need to do. And then also remember that we have a store checklist. So you're gonna head and grab this checklist from the previous video and we're gonna, you wanna make sure that you complete all this stuff. And then I wanna, because it's been a while since I've set up my own Shopify store, like myself, I'm gonna reference my own checklist, which is okay, it's good. It means it, it, it works. All right guys, so now we're on the general page and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna clean up some of this text to make sure I got all my information filled out. So I'll just capitalize that. And then what you wanna do is you put your legal name, business name here. If you have an LLC, go ahead and put that there, which mine is Logic Box, right? Uh, obviously, you wanna put your legal address, which if I actually do it, it'll update it. 
Uh, even though I'm in Thailand, I use the central uh, Chicago time, central time, and I use the metric system. Imperial. I use the imperial system. I use pounds. If you want, if you're from UK, you definitely can use kilograms, no problem. I oh, I think you should put your store in US dollar. That is my recommendation. Uh, you can set it up how you like. Format, order number, this is fine. It will start at 001 if you just leave it blank. And now I have these settings saved and we're gonna move on to the next section. What we're gonna do is we'll go back to settings and we're just gonna continue to fill out some of this stuff so you guys can make sure that you have your settings correct. All taxes are included at my price. No, charge taxes on shipping rates based uh, automatically. So I'm gonna say yes, okay, charge taxes. And right now you can set up your tax rate. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then what we're gonna do is we can uh, set up specific tax sections. So I'm not a lawyer, but from the way I understand it, you only tax where you are. We have um, physical locations. So if you have an, a Wyoming LLC, then you're gonna wanna collect sales tax in Wyoming and wherever else you live. So if you live in UK, charge your UK tax and Wyoming state tax, but not all the states, just Wyoming, okay? Country tax based on where, where add tax override, all applicable tax for the rest of the world. So we don't wanna change rest of world tax. We want to change specifics. So, okay, so I think we have to go here, go to for all, go down here. So we're gonna set that up real quick. It says shipping from, we can change, go ahead and change this shipping from to. So now we just went to the shipping, shipping section because we were on the tax section, but now we're gonna be in the shipping section just because we wanna set up our shipping zones. And what we're gonna do is we can edit that to have whatever location that you're shipping from. So if you're printing using print on demand, then this is not a big issue because you, you might have print on demand providers from the US and from China and maybe even from the UK, right? You could just leave this uh, shipping from origin as your business LLC origin. Everything should be okay. They're not gonna, Shopify's not gonna give you a hard time if your tracking number starts showing. Ch China, 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 but then this setting here is, says it's shipping from different location. They're not gonna actually look at that that much and it's not that big of a deal. But you could update it to be wherever your main supplier is. You could update it to have their address. And just contact the supplier, the print on demand app. If it's my app, just contact us. We'll give you the address for our China factory and you could put that in there if you like. So down here, I recommend for shipping zones what I recommend is this is domestic and the rest of the world we're gonna change add countries so we want to make you we want to make United States as the domestic one okay All right 60 these two add and um, we want to use a weight based this is my this is what I like okay and we're gonna call this free shipping, okay? And I like to do free shipping, and this is what your customers will see. Okay, this is very important. Your customers are gonna see this name, free shipping. And then I always like to put the time frame, two to four week. Uh, this will make it very, very clear to your customers. You know, they can expect a longer shipping time when you're drop shipping from a print on demand pro provider. This is normally like two to three day production and then 10 to 15 day um, actual delivery from the factory, which is normal about 17 days ish. Always put this in here on your weight base to keep your customers happy and they have normal expectations and not like Amazon two day expectations. And so that what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that weight order to zero and then the max we're gonna set to zero as well so now we're we're telling we're telling our weight based system that uh free shipping is zero weight okay and you could also yeah free shipping okay so i i named it free shipping but we gotta also check this box saying it's free shipping so zero weight is free shipping okay so now we have this free shipping two to four week delivery set up call this usa so we're gonna call this zone usa and that zone includes the united states only so then they're gonna save that. So now we can check out what our zones look like. It's gonna send us back to that 
Um, so we go back to shipping. Okay, so we're in the zone of USA. Now we can say we have a shipping rate for the USA is free. This says domestic Thailand. Just because my address is from here from Thailand, if I change this to another address, then domestic will be USA. We can go ahead and do that. So now the domestic, they pre-fill in these right here. They pre-filled -fill, those in for you. Uh, so now I have US. Let me get rid of this one I just created. I'll copy this so that I can copy. And we're gonna edit this shipping zone, USA, and we're just gonna get rid of it, okay. So I'm gonna set these shipping zones based on uh, if you're shipping from our app, right? So that you can keep the exact same prices that we charge. We charge $1.99 for USA and $2.99 or $3.99 for all other countries. So now what we can do, we got this. So now we're gonna edit this shipping zone. Domestic is gonna be USA. And we're going to kill that country. We're gonna add this country. We're gonna type in United States. Chop, chop both those into our countries. Call it domestic. And we're gonna add no price weight. I don't like price weight. Here we got a standard weight. So let's set up these. Let's call that the free shipping again. Let's call that zero weight. Let's knock this down to zero. Okay, now let's edit this one. Let's call premium uh, premium shipping. Premium shipping. We're gonna call this uh, two to four week as well. Premium shipping, two to four week. And this is gonna be like one. Uh, one, and then you can call this one to two or one to one. Okay, so one pound, one pound. And we're gonna change this one to 199, okay? And so I'll show you what you're gonna do now. Done, done, okay, done. So now we got weights of one pound or one kilogram if, you're, if you set it up with kilograms, it's okay. So we got free shipping available and premium shipping for, or we can actually, I wouldn't call this premium shipping. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Standard shipping, okay. So we're gonna call that standard shipping. And I'm gonna actually add one more rate, and this will make sense in a second. We're gonna call this other rate two to four week delivery and we are gonna also we're gonna set this to zero to one pound do we want to do that one pound yeah yeah okay so we're gonna charge like 499 for this not for 499 okay so now we have three rates based on this this and we're gonna go ahead and save this calculator rates it will do it automatically for you but you have to print the labels from Shopify so you don't need that so now let's go back to shipping and we got to set up our non-domestic all other countries so we got three rates in domestic and you can see we have one in the rest of the world shows all the 240 other countries so what we're gonna do is we'll just leave that the rest of the world but we're going to edit the actual name of the shipping to have the same Rates. So rest of the world, 240 countries, weight based. And I'm gonna get rid of this and we're gonna add a, 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 a weight. We're gonna set this to free shipping again. And then we're gonna choose free. And then we're going to add another weight. And we're gonna call this standard shipping, two to four a week. Call this zero, oh, two to four a week, one. This is one nine, or this is three ninety nine based on the app. Okay, standard shipping all other countries three ninety nine based on on my app. So now we go down here, to this, and we can add that one other premium if you like. So we'll do that. Add a weight. We can call this premium shipping two to four, and we're gonna call this zero to one. This way it will show up. Call this $4.99. So it's a dollar more, or you can even set it to $5.99. I'm gonna leave it at $4.99. So it's a dollar more, and basically, there's a there's a strategy why you do this. People will choose, people will choose this one, even though um, there's no difference. It's still two to four week, just because it has the words premium, they'll pay another dollar for it, um, and you don't actually have to provide any service. That's better or faster if you don't want to. You could, you could, but you don't want to. And maybe um, our app in the future will have DHL and that would be another option to use, but we don't have that yet. I think it's gonna come soon. 
I'll let you know the details when it does. So now we're gonna go back to shipping and you can see we have three sh shipping the rest of the world. The only difference is the, the prices because you wanna set up the same prices, $1.99 and $3.99 for standard shipping. So you will only use free shipping when you when the product you're selling you want to offer free shipping and i'm going to show you how to set up those products and what they look like in the cart later on in the future videos and we're going to get to that but like for right now we can just set up the shipping zones like this okay now for all this other stuff label you can just leave the same packages whatever all this is fine settings and we're going to continue on our our stuff i don't think we ever did zero 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 depends on the con on the county uh need help setting up taxes let's see because i'm pretty sure oh this is a document we don't care about that i'll have to get i'll have to figure out exactly where to set up the, the taxes or maybe we'll get get there in a second so now we're going to account and let's and let's get this account set up a little bit more. So you can upgrade your plan, you don't need that. The account owner is me. You can add staff if you're in a higher virtual assistant. And I'll show you that too. You can adjust, like you put their name, their email, it'll send an invite code, then they'll log in to the store and then they'll have their own little account. You can make sure that they don't see your home, your home page with your total dash, but like if you don't want to see, have your virtual assistant know how much money you're making, you can say, okay, they do not have access to that, but they do have access to products, orders, and draft orders, and customers, but not reports, not dashboards, not settings, not apps. So you can make sure that they don't have access to anything that will allow them to edit or change your store without your, without your permission. So you set your permissions here, which is really cool. So all you have to do is type their name, send an email, and then they send an invite. That's really cool. I use that all the time. And store status here. I take a break from selling. You don't need that. Close your store only if you really want it to. It was down there. Work with expert if you want to hire um, someone that knows like programming. Definitely go down here. There's lots of really good guys that can help you set up custom stuff on your store. Payment providers. Okay, so this is the merchant, and we're gonna pause the video here. We're gonna start the next one about merchants, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that.